lesson two arithmetic progression ap definition and nth term arithmetic progression is a form of sequence in which each term is gotten or obtained by the addition of a common difference to the preceding one arithmetic progressions are sequences that follow simple addition rule for example if the first term of the sequence is two and you want the common difference to be five it means the second term will be two plus five that is seven the third term is seven plus five that is twelve and so on the common difference is constant throughout a given sequence and varies from sequence to sequence this is the meaning a given sequence cannot have two common differences one common difference to one sequence and it varies from sequence to sequence examples find the common difference of the following sequences example 11 you have the sequence with the terms 4 comma 9 comma 14 19 and so on solution a simple rule used to find the common difference d is common difference d is equal to second term minus first term or third term minus second term or fourth term minus third term and so on anyone you choose to use you will have the same common difference so for this sequence the common difference d is equal to second term 9 minus first term 4 you have 5 or third term 14 minus second term 9 you have 5 or fourth term 19 minus third term 14 you have 15 so which one you choose to use you have the same result you are not to try all like this just to let you know that the common difference is constant throughout a given sequence example 12 you have this sequence the common difference is second term minus first term you convert the missed fractions to improper fractions you find the lcm which is four you divide four by four you have one times 15 you have this 15 minus the lcm4 divided by 2 is 2 times 5 you have 10 if you subtract you have 5 over 4 or the same common difference is equal to third term minus second term you can write 5 as 5 over 1 to have a balanced fraction you convert this to improper fraction the lcm is 4 when you simplify you have the same 5 over 4 as the common difference next we shall discuss the nth term of an arithmetic progression conventionally we denote the first term of any sequence by a and the common difference by d let n represent the nth term consider the following sequence with terms 3 comma 7 comma 11 comma 15 comma 19 
we want to use this sequence to establish the nth term formula for any arithmetic progression. Let's start with the common difference D. It is equal to second term minus first term equal to four or third term minus second term. You have the same four. The first term is equal to three. The very first term in the sequence. The second term is first term plus common difference. The third term is first term plus two times common difference and so on. Remember, I said earlier that in the end term discussion, the first term is always there. We have achieved that. Now look at 4, 8, 12, and 16. They are all multiples of 4. So we can express 4 as 1 times 4, 2 as 2 times 4, bringing out 4 from each of the multiple. Then 12 as 3 times 4, 16 as 4 times 4. You can see the common difference is there all true. Now let's come here. So the first term is usually a so let's replace three 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 with a or true you have one two three four you have one two three four times the common difference respectively now this is the idea the first term is three the first term here is a and d is to multiply what you have there so for us to have this three now if here is one if here is one you have to turn this place to zero by subtracting one from one you have zero times d you have only a remaining zero times d is zero this is where i'm working on here here one we need just the first term in order for this one to live here you have to subtract one from it then when you come here that one you subtract now becomes constant or true so you keep on subtracting one or true when you do that you have the first term second term third term now look at second term a plus d that is three plus four eight is two times four that is two d and so on so one two three four can be replaced with n so that the nth term becomes a equal to bracket open n minus one times the common difference d so this is the nth term formula for any arithmetic progression generally if we are given any ap with terms a command a plus d command a plus 2d and so on then the nth term denoted by t sub n is equal to first term a plus bracket open number of terms n minus one bracket close times common difference d this is the formula for finding the nth term of an arithmetic progression note the nth term can also be written as the last term for that given sequence examples number 13 find the tenth term of the ap 3 comma 5 comma 7 comma 9 comma dot 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 solution 
from the given AP, the first term A is equal to 3. The common difference is equal to second term minus first term. That is 2. You are asked to find the third term. That means N is equal to 10 and T sub 10 is unknown. Recall that T sub N is equal to this, the nth term formula for a given AP. So you replace the parameters with what they stand for. You have it in this form and in this form. You have to multiply before you add. So T sub 10 is equal to 3 plus 18 equal to 21. Now, this is the meaning. You have these first few terms. If you keep on adding to the common difference T the tenth term, you are going to have 21. That is the meaning. Example 14. The sixteenth term of an AP is 93 and its common difference is 6. Find the first term of the AP and hence calculate the thirtieth term of the AP. Solution from the question the sixteenth term that is t sub 16 is equal to 93 at this point n is equal to 16 the common difference is 6 and the first term is unknown but this is the nth term formula now n is 16 so you have t sub 16 equal to a the first term unknown plus n 16 minus 1 in bracket times common difference 6 t sub 16 is 93 from the question you have it in this form when you simplify you have this result to get a the first term you have to transfer plus 90 to the right to the left hand side you have it in this form and a is equal to 3 now a is known the common difference is also known we cannot get the 30th term at the 30th term n is equal to 30 a is equal to 3 and d is equal to Six. So in the same formula, you replace n by 30, a with 3, d with 6 in this form. You have t sub 30 equal to 3 plus 29 times 6. You have to multiply before you add. At the end, you have 100 and 17 177 as the 30th term of the ap with first term three and common difference six example 15 the first term of an ap is equal to twice the common difference Find in terms of D the fifth term of the AP solution. The first term A is equal to 2 times common difference D. That is A equal to 2D. At the fifth term, N is equal to 5 and you are asked to get T sub 5. You recall the nth term formula. You replace n with 5. You replace the first term with 2d because a is equal to 2d. 
you have this result. T sub 5 is equal to 2D plus 5 minus 1 is 4 times D. You have 4D. When you add, you have 6D as the fifth term in terms of D, the common difference. Unknown first term and common difference leading to simultaneous linear equation. Examples number 16. The fifth term of an AP is 28 and the 14th term is 84. Find the 24th term of the AP. To get the 24th term, the first term and common difference are needed. Solution. You have to apply the nth term formula of an AP. From the question, the fifth term, T sub 5, is equal to 28. At this point, N is equal to 5. You replace N with 5 in the nth term formula. You have this result. T sub 5 is 28. And that is equal to first term A plus 4D. 5 minus 1 is 4 times D. 4D. You call that equation 1. Also, the 14th term T sub 14 is equal to 84. At this point, n is equal to 14. You replace n with 14 in the nth term formula. You have this result. T sub 14 is 84. And that is equal to first term A plus 13D. 14 minus 1 is 13 times d you have 13 d you can call that equation 2 anytime you have a pair of equations with two unknown variables you have to solve for them simultaneously let us take the solution to equations 1 and 2 simultaneously using any of the methods the solution continues. You have equation 1 and equation 2. I want to solve using the method of elimination and I want to eliminate variable A. To do that, I have to subtract the two equations. So A minus A is equal to 0. The effect of this minus sign we turn this place to be minus and here is also minus so i have plus 4d minus 13d that is minus 9d and 28 minus 84 you have minus 56 you have this result to get d divide both sides by minus 9. You have it in this form and this result. To get A, you have to substitute the value of D into equation 1. This is equation 1. You replace D with 56 over 9 in this form. When you simplify this term, you have A plus 2 to 4 over 9 equal to 28. Let's clear fraction by using 9 to multiply through. You have this result. To get 9a, you have to transfer this term to the right hand side. It becomes negative. When you subtract, you have 9a equal to 28 divide both sides by 9 to get a and a is equal to 
28 over 9. You are asked to get the 24th term. At that term, n is equal to 24. First term is equal to this. Common difference is equal to this. In the nth term formula, you replace n with this value, first term and common difference. So, t sub 24 is equal to this. You replace a with 28 over 9 plus n, that is 24 minus 1 in bracket times the common difference 56 over 9. You have this result. You have to multiply here before you add. You have this result. The fractions are alike. You simply add the numerators over 9. You have this result. When you convert it to missed fraction, you have 146 whole number 2 over 9 as the 24th term of the sequence. End of lesson 2. Thanks for following to the end. Don't forget, watch out for more from the voice of Peter Kors. Lastly, if you are not safe, your life is in crisis, your life is in trouble. To avoid all of that, you have to give your life to the one that can save you. And that is the Lord Jesus Christ. And confess him as your Lord and personal Savior every day of your life. If you are saved already, congratulations. Live righteously and be prepared. Because on the last day, some will be taken and some will be left. Be good to yourself. Stay out of trouble. Study your books. Do the needful at all times. Flee every gathering of evil. Don't defraud others to make money. Find something good and genuine to do with your hands and your brain. And the Lord will bless you. Goodbye and stay tuned.